Hi everyone, it's Andrea from and Beyond and andbeyondimprov.com here with some thoughts about success and why it is that we so often achieve success to the point where our seventh grade self would be so proud and we don't even enjoy it, we don't even acknowledge it, we don't feel happy about it or feel happy in the life that we're living. Um, and I think that one of the reasons that that is is that at some point it stops being about achieving the thing that we set out to do and it starts being about proving stuff to people and it starts being about hoping that a certain person sees it or that a certain person is impressed or intimidated or something like that. So truthfully, I get caught up in this as well and one of the things that has helped me a whole lot is to latch on to mantras like, I celebrate soul-centered success wherever I see it. Um, so I know that one of the things that is super triggering for me is comparison. So when I start getting really caught up in proving energy, it's often, um, it starts out because I'm comparing myself to someone else. And, you know, I don't know if you're like me at all, where you, maybe I'm the only petty person out there who does this, but I'll admit that sometimes it's hard for me if I see someone that's around my age and they're, you know, outperforming me or they're doing, maybe it happened for them before it happened for me when it comes to whatever it is, being a homeowner, um, having a successful business, crossing a certain income threshold, having children, whatever it is, um, we all have our certain thing. And when someone who's our age-ish achieves it first, it can feel stingy. And the thing is, what I believe is that we will feel so much happier in our own success if, first of all, we focus our energy more on hoping that other people succeed too than on hoping that people are you know, impressed or intimidated or whatever. If, if you have achieved something before someone else, wish for their success desire to see them succeed. That feels better. That helps you enjoy your own success more when you're hoping for other people's success too. And the other thing is celebrate the success of other people. When you're feeling, when you're tempted to feel judgmental or when you're tempted to feel um, maybe jealous, choose to feel happy for the success that you see in others. So I tell myself all the time, I celebrate soul-centered success wherever I see it. It's definitely the case that when people succeed and they're like selfish and mean. Of course, I'm not, you know, cheering for that. But soul-centered success, when there are other women entrepreneurs reaching their goals and doing things that I hope to do someday, yay, get it, girl, I'm happy for you. When there are people that are achieving the things and you feel those pangs of jealousy, um, I hope that instead of unfollowing them on social or th things that I've done in the past that I've been petty about when I get served up ads by, um, coaches or consultants that are in their thirties or forties or they're young and they're, you know, buying private islands and talking about, Oh, my online course made over seven figures this year. It's easy for me to be like, boo, ignore, ignore that or whatever. And you know what? I have started being like, I'm going to follow this person instead of being jealous, instead of, you know, letting weird energy build up around that. I want to be someone that celebrates the fact that there are women entrepreneurs out there setting themselves free from the cyclical poverty that they otherwise would have been in, in some of their cases, or, you know, rising above and proving to themselves that they're capable of doing amazing things and that their work is changing people's lives and encouraging people. I want to be about celebrating that. So if you get hung up on success, if you get hung up on realizing, you know, dag, I've done a lot, but somehow I'm still not happy, then I hope you'll take some time to start being proactive about wishing for other people's success and celebrating the success that you see around you. That is a good way to actually enjoy the life that you have right now and enjoy the success that you have right now. And that is is a great headspace to be in for cultivating even more success. So just some thoughts for you. I'm about to pick up my son from daycare and those are the thoughts that have been on my mind today and I wanted to share them. Um, I hope that is encouraging to you as well. All right, have a good day, everybody. Bye.